So ladies and gentlemen, this morning we leave Boutique Hotel Dolomit. Nice place to stay. Recommend the pizza. And we head off to Switzerland. My tank likes me this morning. It reckons I've got a range of 569 kilometers. Mine's 575. Good <laughs> Those clouds are quite spectacular, aren't they? They're quite eerie, but quite beautiful at the same time. Right, take it easy in case anyone's shooting the lights coming the other way. I think my uh, camera might have gone off. Because... By the way. Because... It made a beepy sound and I can't... Oh, no, it's still going. It's okay. Cool. Right, we've got some lights coming up, so... Let me know if you get stuck in them. Yeah, I think it's just one of the ones for the uh, twirl thing though, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that looks fun. Enough bikes, they're all... Ooh, it's like sheep on sticks. <laughs> I, I barely noticed that. <laughs> so they give way that way, when they're actually on the roundabout. <laughs> So, do we have to stop here and get a vignette, or...? Tick, said it. <laughs> okay. It's... Uh... You get the green, blue pizza badge. <laughs> I don't even know if one of them exists, but if it does, I want one now. I just thought, are we going to end up there uh, paying this toll with like a 50 euro note or something? <laughs> there is a very good chance that happens, yeah. Oh well. Perfect. You don't even notice that you got the luggage on this at all. It doesn't even stick out or anything, does it? So. A minute of cover receipt down there. Ritirare lo scontrino. Now I'll stick that in my thingy. Right. 
Uh, I think that's 21, but I still definitely warmer. Mine says 23. Is she starting off saying it's the right way? Um, well, it said keep right. And I'm keeping right, and it's not thrown a wobble yet. That must be alright then. Kind of almost American round here, isn't it? I think. Where you look, there's like pink ribbons, so I don't know whether it's some kind of a event or oh, bank holiday weekend or something. Yep, probably lost. It's quite funny that we're actually higher than the snow on this side, but there's no snow over here. Probably because this is the way the sun hits, yeah. Yeah. See, it's very pretty and everything, but I don't think I'd want to live somewhere where it's still snowing in uh, May. <laughs> well, it's just weird that high-rise flats look completely wrong on that scenery. Yeah, they do. There's some type of mountain bike or ski run over that, you think? Probably some type of ski run over there. No, it's when they've got the ski lifts, they seem to put like a bridge underneath it anyway. I don't know whether... Say again. When they've got the ski lifts going across a road, then they tend to put like a little bridge underneath it anyway. In case people fall off the ski if you don't want to the cars. Maybe. Ooh, it smells like cauliflower around here. You say I thought it smelled fishy. It smells like the seaside. Oh, okay. <laughs> Car coming through, watch out. No idea what is going on in the back of that truck. Oh, there are dogs in there. Are they having a bath or something? Because a lot of water coming out of the back of that. Oh, we're going through the border. Looks like.
may have been the most expensive fill up ever. So, 50 in town, 80 out of town, 120 on the motorway, was that it? I think that's the general rule. They seem to be a lot more sensible speeds around here. Yeah, that's because word's got out of what we do to people with uh, five over the speed limit's like a 200 euro fine, isn't it? Pull in, get one. No, we're in a lay by. This is a lay by. Right, we refuse to take our helmets or our gloves off because it's too bloody cold. It's not that cold. But. Uh, <laughs> You'd like to see the wall of snow. There you go. Pretty much shoulder height. So we are currently atop the Paso del Benina. Around about 2330 meters. It is very, very cool around here. the snow again uh, we're down to eight degrees my oh god I think that that snow is actually taller than you are <laughs> yeah I think it is I have to say, I'm really glad we came here at this time of year. I think this would have been lovely landscape, no matter what time of the year you came, but in the snow it's spectacular. What do you think? Yeah, well it's not something that I've ever seen before, not like this. You wouldn't be allowed to have your... Uh, have the train tracks that close to an unprotected road in the UK, would you? It depends, because like the hotel we had in Lauter Brun, and if I remember rightly, the food there was amazing. Well, actually, tell why. The actual main dishes and the food weren't slow down. I couldn't we're actually... I can't. Off, we're about to go off-road. <laughs> Great. I can't actually remember what the uh, food was like in Lauter Brun. 
Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to stop and take your uh, seat cover off? Nah. It's going to stop again in a minute. I know, but only once you've got everything soaked. <laughs> you see the thing is, that looks like it'd be really nice to swim in that. <laughs> Amazing that like, this time of year. I think I might need a wetsuit. <laughs> you like careful to guy at the front. So you the thumbs down. Right. What's yeah. the limit on this? 80. Come on. So, is it in that town, do you reckon then? I'm guessing. Well, I suppose it's just out the other side of that town, maybe. Well, I guess this is the Mez, so... I'm going to hazard a guess it is that slightly newly painted building. Is this us? So what we're doing with the bikes when the facilities are. Yep. This is going to be one of these really officious ones where they need every passport and we have to fill in paperwork. <laughs> yeah. Because if memory serves, that's every time I've been to Switzerland. <laughs> Well, all two times I've been to Switzerland. <laughs> That's been both of the times that you've been to Switzerland. <laughs> That's Hinterzarten. That red bit will be where the accident is. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so... If we go... If we go down this road to Lenskirch and pick up the L156 Right in Barbara Straza. <laughs> 